thousands of passengers piled off Holland America Zandam early this morning, headed for hiking tours, bus tours, and walks around the city. But inside was a different story. It is very cool. Um, it can be really deceptive looking at the ship from the outside, and then when you get inside, you say, wow. The Holland America Line is celebrating 150 years and invited city officials and members of the Port Corporation on board for a look around. The ship offers the best of the best, with things like a gym and spa, executive dining on several different floors, pools everywhere, even a casino and a library. Life's very good on board, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of nice food around, there's entertainment around, there's, uh, it's, it's made very comfortable, a very comfortable way of travelling of course, uh, for guests to come on board and, and unpack only once and still get to see uh, 5 or 10 or 15 uh, different ports in their vacation. Um, it's, uh, it's generally a really nice atmosphere on board. While passengers explored Cornerbrook, members with the Port Corporation and the cruise ship's captain exchanged plaques to mark the vessel's inaugural visit this August to Cornerbrook, a tradition for every new ship that comes to town. Hopefully we, uh, we wish for a good future together and uh, many more visits to the same place. This is one of seven inaugural calls this summer. 29 cruise ships visit Cornerbrook. That's over 40,000 passengers, a record year for the Cornerbrook Port Corporation. The cruise industry in the Cornerbrook is really booming at the moment. We're seeing more numbers coming in every year and having a ship of this size especially, when the passengers come off, we want to make sure they have a great experience because that economic benefit that that brings to our community is so widespread and so well appreciated. And this view is also appreciated. The Holland America Line is one of the oldest cruise lines in the world, with passengers coming back again and again for cruises, some spending 1,000 days at sea. And you can see why. For me, it's really just um, jumping on board, and then it's almost like you're in a completely, you've been transported in a completely different place. And then you walk out, out on deck, and you're like, wow, we're still home. The Zondam leaves through the Bay of Islands tonight at 10.30. Passengers on board this vessel will spend the day in Cornerbrook, of course. Their next port is in PEI and then Quebec. Colleen Connors, CBC News, Cornerbrook.